<laughs> Welcome to the 6818 Podcast. I am your co-host, Jaren, aka Insta Jaren, aka 21 Selvage, 21, 21, 21, aka Secondhand Shawty, aka Young Reppy, aka Diet Coke Poppy. Diet Coke. And I'm Gigi Lewis. <laughs> what's your AKA? I don't have, I'm just Gigi Lewis. Nah, that's what's up. And I'm Javon Westmoller, man, AKA Javon314, man, AKA The Kid, AKA Berkeley's Finest. Uh, nah, I'm just play. <laughs> but it is uh, Javon314, AKA The Kid. Yeah, and we're back for our second episode of the 6818 podcast. Um, we are indoors today because it's like 21 degrees. 21, 21, 21, 21. 21, 21, 21 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, It's like 21 degrees on the porch. So we ain't about to do that. So um, what y'all been up to this week? Anything? Yeah, Anything I went to uh, 314 Day at Bob Park Village, Village. It was really nice. It was a lot to get up in there. Um, it was actually a little messy. It was chaotic to get in, even when you had a ticket, just to get in. Can the, you the venue. can you tell uh, share some of the highlights because we talked about it a little bit. So uh, we're gonna leave a name out, but there was something very special to me that happened. I have no clue what you're talking. With about. With someone getting in there in an unorthodox way. Yeah, I'm not gonna say not that. not yeah. not your way. I'm but the not, way I can, I don't want to speak on it. Nah, that's that's messy. Oh, but it's not messy. The I mean, All Stars did perform and they did a really man, good job. Fuck all that. Look, uh, so yeah. so so somebody somebody we know. Here we go. I'm not going there. Jerry, go there. Climb through the window to get up in there. You can't tell him nothing. That's I don't, what's up. I don't know. I ain't say their name. It's windows at Bob Park Village to climb through. So that's the first part, right? I didn't even know so, that. So y'all crazy. That's the first part. Well, you know what? God I shuts mean, the door. It, he opens a window. Yeah, I mean. I'm just saying, man. Fine. He's everywhere. He is everywhere. The so, Lord is everywhere. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a person who we know. And they were having trouble getting in there because it was packed, right? We all were having trouble getting in there. Yeah. So it was kind of like a um, by any means necessary. Like I said, literally, even if you had a ticket, we had tickets. Mm -hmm. And the line was ridiculous. It wasn't even a line. It was just a crowd of people trying to get in. A crowd of like 300. I did not want to get up in there. 14 people? Probably 314. <laughs> 314. 314. Yeah. And it was a lot. And they were only letting people in like five at a time. Um, so even if you got there on time, you weren't getting in for like hours later. It was just a lot going on, but not me. I got in. Yeah, yeah you got so. in. I got in quick. Yeah, and our friend also got in. Exactly. She is a friend. I like her. Ooh, they. See, you mean they? Yeah, they. Don't. They got them, in. Them, <laughs> them, <laughs> them, we got okay, she, they all got in. They got in. The they got, got in. in. The friend got in. Yeah. Got in. We all got in. That's what's up. And we was partying. That's what's up. How shot, about shot, three shot, one four shot, 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 shot. How about you, Bud? Uh, uh, anything? I just went out, of, this week? Uh, went out of town to you Tulsa. Went out of town. Uh, went yeah. to Tulsa, Oklahoma to do some work. Okay. Uh, uh, at the comedy club there, Bricktown Comedy Club. Went there, did some work. Work. Uh, just was in Peoria yesterday. Got back last night to do this with you beautiful people. Mm, a little booked and busy. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to remain booked and busy, man. It, you know, just keep us rolling, man. That's it. Keep our names out there in these streets. So That's what's up. But that was it for the week. Okay. I think. Yeah, that was it. I'm, All right. I'm alive. Yeah. I ain't climbed through no windows. Yeah. I'm good. I walked through the door of everything this week. Walked through the door. <laughs> I walked through the door of everything this week. <laughs> yeah, I had um, a funeral uh, for my aunt, my aunt Helen, rest in peace, Aunt Helen. And uh, we wasn't close. Uh, I'm not close to my, my father's side of the family. So I decided to go just to kind of see what was going on with everybody and maybe reconnect. And... Um, and so, highlight from the funeral, um, one of my aunts got very drunk. Damn. And she was like, so I think she might be having a little bit of dementia too kind of coming on. Mm. And so, 
d- apparently dementia versus being drunk or when you combine those two, that, that's not a good mix, especially if the person's kind of like an angry drunk. Yeah. And the way I remember her as a kid, she was always kind of fighting and stuff. You know, she was like always turned up partying. Mm-hmm. But once she gets the, the liquor in her system, you know, Jam. it might get it might look get a little aggressive. And so anyway, here she is about 70 years old, God. got grandkids and stuff. She's outside and they're trying to get in her in the car so they can leave. And she's like, nah, nah, you know, she like don't even know where they are. Mm. Mm, and she's like fighting them, like physically, like pushing them in the face and stuff. And she's like, oh, and she, and she says to her grandson, this is the funniest thing that I've heard this quarter. She says, get your hands off of me, bitch. And he says, I ain't a bitch. I'm your grandson. Aww. And uh, <laughs> and I've never heard that line of words together. It don't really rule out the first thing that she called you, though, just because you're a grandson. Like, you can still be a bitch and be a grandson, though. But she probably thinking she in them days when she was at the bar, nah, you know, and she had to let these niggas know, get off, you know, smushing niggas yeah. in their faces. And that's how she talked to people. But that's can, her vernacular. <laughs> but can you imagine your grandma calling you a bitch? That's just kind of wild to me. Man. I mean, I, I, these new grandmamas, I they can. They sure do. I, yeah, I, I, the, new, the new grandmamas, the new, I can. Yes. The older ones, nah. Calling them worse. The ones that cooked a little bit and owned the cast iron skillet, I can't see them doing that. But these air fried grannies, yeah, I can That's see that. Air fried grannies. Air fried yeah, grannies. Yeah, Look how uh, Black China mama talked to her. Right. True. Your grandmama? She an air fried granny. True. <laughs> she an air fried True. granny. And she reckless with it. Like, Man. she talked to her like she, ugh. Man, if your Ooh, granny Lord. got a BBL, she gonna cuss you out. <laughs> if your granny got a BBL, she gonna call you. She gonna, she gonna call you out your name. That's all I'm saying. Your granny wearing lace man, fronts. If your granny still thinks she can get a six figure high value man at sixty, she she gonna call you out your name. <laughs> Shut up. I'm just being honest this morning. That's all. All right. So uh, I know my my topic might get kind of ratchet. Do we want to start off? Okay, Let's start off ratchet. Right, yeah. Start off ratchet and go to the exactly to the light. Like so I, thought, I, I thought all topics was ratchet today. Oh, I thought you said you was on some positive stuff. I, I mean, I, no, nah. I'm okay, on, we can we can roll with mine. I'm on with y'all on. We can roll with mine. So um, there's a video. So how y'all feel about this? Do y'all feel that a man is good to start knocking females out if the females are jumping his lady? Know what I'm saying? What do y'all think about that? Do y'all feel like, know what I'm saying, he should have dropped every single one of them the way he did? Because he did. I just put it in through editing, through the magic of editing so everybody can see it. Mm-hmm. Bow, bow, um, bow. Where there's a guy, as you can see, he's laying hands. He's blessing all of these women mwah, mwah. at the club with closed fist. Closed fist of fury. So, basically, the women were jumping his girl. It's like four. It's like four of them, right? And it wasn't a club. It was a concert. It was a concert. It was a concert. It was like a big concert. And uh, they was jumping this girl, apparently. And it looked like a dude was in there, too. So, I think it was three girls and a dude. Well, some girls look like dudes now, though. No, nah, that was a dude. I, I mean, all right, whatever. Four I mean, people. Four people. Okay. Four people. It was still people. Four they, people. She was getting jumped. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I knew for sure it was three. So, I knew for sure it was three girls. what 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 are y'all thoughts on this dude helping his girl in that way by punching everybody out? He went full mm-hmm. like Jet Li. Okay. It they mine. They had weapons. Yeah. They could have did anything. They could have hit her, jumping her. They could have broke her spine, her neck, anything. Like he protecting his woman, just like you would do your your kids. Your friend, we came together, we, yeah, we rocking together, you better. We come together, we leave together? And we get knocked out together, whatever. We go, yeah. I don't know, our friendship will take a certain turn if we both got knocked out. <laughs> if we both get knocked out together, that's gonna definitely put a great cloud on our friendship. We just start going to the gym together as well. All right, now, okay, I like that. That's a different type of friendship right there. We gonna, we gonna get we gonna it together. Up. We gonna get it together as friends. As friends. Yeah. So you are in support of a man Jumping in in this situation, we ain't talking about just a one-on-one fight. You know, his girl was getting beat up on. 
It was she was getting jumped. She was a danger. So if you, y'all with was it. with me and I was getting jumped by six chicks, would y'all step in? Yeah. Like step in to just pull them off of me, or step in to pull them off of me? Uh, I, I think we would probably try to go the first approach of pulling them off of you. But then if that don't work, you got to do, I mean, you got to lay hands. Like you said, we all come together, we all lead together, so. Now, wait a minute. Are they all, like, chicks, chicks? Yeah. We, like, natural born? Man, it's like we just talked about earlier um, on, well, the, on Life After Lockup. One, yeah. of, one of them wasn't always, a shout out to the LGBTQIA community. Uh, nothing but love for y'all. But... My guy, or excuse me, um, on that show, there was somebody, um, a transgender woman, standing about, look about six foot five next to everybody else. And she got in, she started throwing hands. Mm-hmm. So is that fair? Is that, I mean. No, because there's still man strength behind those, there's still male testosterone behind them punches, behind those throws. It's not fair. I would never, I would never go up against and try to fight a man because mm-hmm. I already know I'm not, I'm a lose because I'm a woman. I, I mean, I mean, just naturally, that's just how I feel about it. So for him to be antagonizing and starting the yeah, shit yeah, yeah. as if you got that same female energy, like it's not a fair fight. So yeah. I feel like too, yeah, at that point, I would shoot your ass, uh, uh cut you because you, your your fist is more of an advantage over me. Yeah, what paperwork did they fill out for him to end up, or them to end up in a female's facility? Like, no, nah, so no, nah, they were out already. They were like oh, in the street. Oh, oh, okay, okay, like okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I thought, I thought, okay, I thought. This one, yeah, they were like just outside of the parking lot talking or whatever, and then they was just talking smack, and then they just got the banging. Oh, uh, okay. I thought we, I thought we were at the facility, no. and he was locked up in a woman's facility because that's how he identified. I was like, when did they no. start? Although that when is a thing start? too. Yeah, I, just, I didn't know they started doing that. They, well, I know you got to produce paperwork or something or they they do do that um but yeah you they gotta, gonna stop doing I think that you have to be minute. i think you have to be a certain level in transition to, to be uh, able to go in i have like your I have, parts need to be removed i definitely think you it can't was go a in dude there with who you. was in a female facility and he got them chicks up in there pregnant yeah, yeah. oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I haven't done the research because you know i'm not Ain't really something i'm yeah. researching yeah. I just watched Orange is the New Black, Maybe I and that was it. So that's all I know about Maybe that situation. So, Vaughn, uh, transgender woman beating up on your girl, you jumping in? Yeah. 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 That's, um, that's part of the whole Even protect. if that's a one-on-one. That's part of the whole protect thing. Yeah. Like, uh, one-on-one? If if the if the transgender oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. my bad I just heard one on one no no I, I, I just heard one on one not I getting jumped like the other situation but they're just a one on one fight you stepping in on that one yeah I'm not yeah. even gonna let my woman yeah now, now what if you mistakenly thought it was a transgender chick and it was just like a masculine woman or oh, what if it was a stud do you jump in I would apologize. <laughs> Oh, now see, yeah, they come is up it, looking like little boosty. You don't really that, know. Yeah. Breast tape down. Yeah. Shoulders a little thick. Is that a fair fight then? With who? You fighting with, a stud. You, you get wait, wait, wait. wait. You getting you getting jumped by studs. Oh, but I'm just saying, if I'm getting jumped, period, y'all need to jump in. Oh, absolutely. Getting jumped, yeah. getting jumped by anybody. Yeah. Some, kids, if some fucking kids jumping me, y'all better jump in and start swinging on them little bitches. Like I don't care. <clears throat> like even if I saw my child getting jumped by some kids, I'm jumping in and I'm swinging. I'm, I'm swinging. If it's some kids, yes. I, I get it. If it's dogs, kids, genders, a man, anything, I'm jumping. No, okay. getting jumped is a, it takes it to a different level. Yeah, uh, I feel like the kind of person I am, and the kind of person that I would date. I would have tried to break it up even before, like before voices start getting raised. Yeah, first of all. I know you can't always control that, Mm -hmm. but in the perfect world, I would have been like, as soon as they better started being like, who you looking at? Why you staring at me? And all that stuff. I would have like been like, come on, baby, let's get out of here. See, that's another thing too. I don't think any one of us two would even be in those types of situations mm-hmm. because we got priorities and shit to lose. So we're not trying to be out here 
fighting, getting arrested, having records and anything of that nature because we try we we definitely are people on the move and have things that we are taking to the next level. I hold, you know, licenses with the state. I'm definitely not going to put any of them in jeopardy as far as, you know, with my career. So, no. I w I will try to mitigate anything. I do let a lot of little stuff strangers really don't hurt my feelings like with the things that they say. So, I do let sometimes stuff roll off my back. Because, yeah, I got stuff to do. I got to keep it pushing. But as far as the being disrespected, somebody like straight coming in my face, like just out the blue with some wild shit, then, yeah, we might have to have a conversation. We're we, we, we going to talk it out first. I'm going I'm to get wild with you back. But it's just like to try to fight it is the literally last. You just resort. can't touch me. I don't care how yes. wild. I don't care how wild just you don't, get. You, yeah, you, you, that you can is get like in my the face. last resort. You can get in my face. You can do whatever. Just don't ever put your hands on me. That's it. That's my. That is my only boundary. Like, just don't touch me. So, Javon, uh, if you were getting jumped by a group of four women, do you fight back? Do you, do you, are you going to start swinging back? Once you touch me, yeah. You, you all, did your big girls joke. There's a group of four big girls who don't yeah. like it, and they start like jumping you. You, you yeah. swinging back? Yeah, because once you touch me, you didn't put yourself. You not yourself. You didn't put me in a place where I have yeah. to defend myself. Yeah. And plus, I mean, I'm not. And plus, I'm not a big, I always tell people I'm not a big frame person, so. But you're quick. I, I, well, you're going to still, still catch it, though, because I'm, now, nah, I guess if I was like a 6'4", 200 and some odd pound, you know, some odd pound man, then I could be like, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't. I'm 5'6", 120, 25, 30, something like that. On a good day. On a good day. Like, you see on a my good body day. Go when we go out. Right. You know like, what I'm saying? I still like I will. I mean, I still protect when I'm out, but four, four thickums, not four, four thickums, man. Now, what if it, it's not a jumping situation? I don't know if y'all remember this video or ever seen it, um, where guys like at a, a football stadium or something, and this white lady, they're arguing. He really not going back and forth with her, but um, she ends up like slapping him, or or she ends up putting hands on him. And then he kind of like hit her back, and then now all these people are jumping in, hey, you know, trying to make it seem like he started the shit or whatever. But he just, she slapped him and he slapped her back. Hmm. Well, um, but his slap kind of knocked her ass out. So, as it should. And he's a grown man. I don't know, man. I'll be, like I say, all that is talking. If the, if, I mean, she did slap him. But I wouldn't even I wouldn't even have been in the argument. Yeah. With, like, whatever she was arguing about, babe, you can have that. Like, you, 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 ma'am, you got that. I ain't gonna argue with you. Those, man, I know what it can escalate to, and I know when I get there. I know when I get there, what level I'm on with it. It just ain't no smack you, man. Ma'am, I'm, I'm gonna tear you up at this good old football field that we at. So we talking about strangers now. At that point, what if it's like a more intimate situation? What if it's your woman? I don't, hit, I don't hit, okay, so I don't hit women, period. Like, I restrain you to the best of my ability. Uh, and plus, like you said, I'm pretty quick. So, I, they just, I, I didn't have women swing on me before. It's just, I didn't hit them with the shoulder roll. Ooh, with the Mayweather shoulder roll. The Shelly, you got the Shelly, yeah, the, the Philly shell. I got the Philly shell <laughs> now. Uh, so, nah, I ain't never physically been, like, hit by no woman. I just, you know, kind of slip in. I be like, man, stop playing. And, you know, I'm... Holding by their forehead. Yeah, Get out of here. I, I work out pretty. Man, stop playing. See, you just, stop playing. See, I'm so afraid of those situations. In all the examples we gave, when it's ever is women involved, I just feel like the best course of action is just to run away. I'm getting the fuck out of there. Uh, because I don't want it twisted any kind of way. I don't want the police called. It ain't always going to be video. You know, like, oh boy, hopefully had video on his side who, yeah. where he beat up the chick. Or the one at the football game, it they got video, video on their side. Yeah. Um, but in a lot of these situations, you ain't always gonna have it. Uh, I was talking about love after after lockup earlier. That was a couple, guy and girl, and the only part of the video that we saw was him two piece in there by the front door. We didn't see what happened before that. He should have ran away. Oh, yeah. And so 
Um, or you get beat up by your girl. I mean, no matter what, it's going to be a bad situation. Bro, that's a bad situation. I just don't want the legal part getting involved. Right. And so I'm going to run away. That's what yeah, I tell my that, kids. That's definitely, yeah. If you let your lady beat you up, bro, that's a bad situation going forward. Yeah. That relationship is trash. Going First forward. of all, yeah, because I'm not going to be in a relationship where I feel like I got to put my hands on my man. Come on now. Nah, you put your hands on him and you beat him up. Not just you got to feel like you put your hands on him. You put your hands on him and you gave him that work. Stop. And you gave him that work. (laughs) Not only did you put your hands on him, you gave him that work. This relationship is over. (laughs) We can't even talk no more, man. I mean, if I gave you that work, I can't even find you attractive anymore. That's what I'm saying. As a man, how do I tell you? you You're like, man, you can't go out this weekend. We ain't spent no time together. Boy, shit. Yeah, I definitely need my man. I'll fuck with your ass. Yeah. I'll whip your ass if you right, leave you this house. You can't be flinching at me around the house right, and I exactly. actually be jumping like scared. I need to like, respect you. I, like, I, uh, I want, I like the healthy fear of my man. Like, I need you to be stronger than me. Man. Is that a healthy fear? Yeah. yeah. What's a healthy fear? Like, I know he'll be my ass. Yeah, I know I couldn't tell. Yeah, what? that's it. Women like, I know, know if we were in a fight. Up. Oh. I'm not gonna win. Yeah, women. Oh, you want him to be strong, man. Man. Yeah, I just want him to be stronger than me. I want that, like you know, I respect him. Healthy fear, I feel like it is respect. You know what? I feel like you a little aggressive today. Me? Yeah. You looking at me? I'm looking at you. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, like you got you got really aggressive when you started talking about little kids and how you whoop all their asses. Man, that video just really I don't know. Strangers can get the work. They strangers get that work. Any any stranger, any age group, any strange. Yeah, y'all jumping, y'all doing all that. Cut, you getting the work. Okay. okay. I never seen this side of you. It doesn't come out. I mean, I, I don't think it's a side of me. I thought we were just talking. Okay. <laughs> I mean, right. Yeah. I so um, we had talked a little bit about um, body modifications. Mm. Okay. Uh, Vaughn, I know uh, we might have discussed a time or two Absolutely. about you know <laughs> that topic. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember when you told me I need to go get one. What? Or I should. You said you should go get it. I would never say nothing like that. You did. What, what is happening here? What? what so happened? now you now you a liar. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <lying>. <laughs> Hold on. What happened? Okay. In this in this alternative uh, alternate universe, what did I say? Let's hear this. He told you you had to go get work. He not had to, but he was. Like, he said you should. should. Yeah. Did he say you? What did, what did I say? What did I say you to get work? Did he on? refer somebody? Like to get a, a BBL. I said that. Yeah, you was like you should get a BBL. This is fake news. When did this happen? This was a couple of months ago. What? What was but the right? Give me the like, whole conversation. I really can't remember the lead up to it. I remember that because it stood out. Because I was like, I don't need no BBL. I've been getting niggas with this body for years. I'm not finna change this up. Change up this trophy. So this is what I'm going to say here, right? They were, using, they were using Camaro bodies for years. And as you see, they had to change up the body of the Camaro. Because people wasn't buying the old body no more. So sometimes you, sometimes you got to change the body up. For, for the new consumer. <laughs> for the new consumer. The body style. That's all I'm saying. If it was good enough for Chevy, it should be. <laughs> the new consumer out here. Ford changed the body of the Mustang. The new consumer Bentley changed the body is, of the. still buying. Ford, right. Ford got a Mustang still truck. Buying now. Yeah, Ford got a Mustang truck. They so, still buying this so 81 GG Lewis. They made it thicker. <laughs> they still buying this 81 GG Lewis. Okay. I keep up the man. Wait a minute. Let's, let's, go, be let's go back. All right. I you're a classic. That's what you're saying. Man. Let's go back for a second because I can't let this go out like this. I, I definitely so, want to get back to you telling so this lady she needs to be the if anything. <laughs> If anything, I definitely didn't just come right out and say you should get one. No, you just I, didn't I would come have right said, out. It wasn't I, just like, hey, good morning, Jaren. Yeah, you should get BBL. It wasn't that. <laughs> I kind of remember talking about if you did, if you did, it would be a, you would be a, a complete different problem. Yeah, I, it was like something about that. Cause, yeah, because yeah, you was, tell me like, I, I mean, so. but don't make it sound like I just suggested the shit, like. <laughs> I, I just, I just, I just entertained the thought. So yeah, basically, what I'll he was saying, it'll bump your notches. Up. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Like, yeah, I yeah. You. I got you. But I just feel like my notches are there. Like BBLs are like. It's that's not, in the yeah. eye of the beholder. I was just gonna say. Because not yeah. everybody like. Okay, so I do. I, like my man like this. Uh huh. And 
you know, so I don't know. Then that's and, and, and so now not necessarily bump your notches up, but it'll bump the aggressive the aggression of anybody who sees you in the streets like, ooh. Like they already kinda going crazy. Yeah. But then <laughs> but then if they if you got this BBL, it'll be like out of the spectrum. It'll I be, do see what you're saying, but who I d I am not the type of person that want all that attention. I don't even want that attention. Man, I be hearing so I heard a lot of women say that, man. And I'm not, I guess I would be calling, would I be calling you out or be calling out women in don't general? Don't call me out. I'm here. I don't know. I just be thinking y'all are full of it when y'all say So, that, first right? of all, I do feel like I get attention already. Mm -hmm. So, I, I don't know. You know, I have anxiety issues. Mm -hmm. So, I already don't, I, so you, it is a valid warning statement when I'm saying I don't want all that attention. I, I mean, I get it. I just be feeling like y'all want it. But y'all just like to say that y'all, because it's present, it's easy to say what you don't want when it's present. I get what you're saying. Because so if like, the attention wasn't present, y'all wouldn't be able to say that though. But because yeah. you get attention, you can say, man, I don't want all that attention. So yeah. I get enough attention. I'm, I'm full of attention, so I'm, yeah. I'm good. I don't because you get it already. But if you were not getting it, you wouldn't be able to be like, oh, I don't want all that attention. You ain't getting it. So <laughs> then I can, then so then when I say it, then it's not cap. It's just, I think it's just easy to say when it's there. Because I would love to see. Well, that, that, a lot of people can say that about a lot of things. A person with money can easily say. And yeah. that's why I don't believe them suckers either. <laughs> that's why I don't believe them suckers either. I don't need all this money. Boy, shut up. <laughs> all right, so Gigi, you were saying. That you need um, to get your body done. I did not say <laughs> that. that. that way. I will go to the gym, like, for years first. But the gym can only do so much, though. The gym ain't carving it out like the way these doctors doing. Like stop. it's not, and you're absolutely right. Cause I'll, your genetics will only let your booty. It's be so only big. letting you go so far. You can do far. so many squats, and it will. You are absolutely. Yeah, I right. I can go shoot jumpers every day in the gym. You're absolutely right. My genetics don't make me six four to be able to go to the NBA. You know, and that's kind of interesting. I've seen people like kids, like I saw, like my son played with a kid who was a quarterback. Mm -hmm. And he was like the, a little guy still, mm -hmm. you know, while they was in elementary school and stuff. Dude actually grew up. I mean, he's probably like six foot now. And he's a legit, you know, quarterback prospect now. And it's like, you got lucky. That's it. Like, think about LeBron. <laughs> the genetic like, lottery. Yeah. Le like, LeBron got yep, lucky. That's what it is. He got But it's just interesting when you are pushing the kids so much and mm -hmm. they're so good at basketball. And then... They conveniently get to be six foot nine. Like you might have been good at sports. Like when we was kids, you was like one of the better people in sports and stuff. But you only like five foot three or something now. Right. You know, so it tapped out. You hit your you hit your genetic potential, man. You that ain't fair. It's absolutely. <laughs> fair. I don't think it's fair. That's 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 the it's, lottery. It's of not. It. It's not about fair. It's just life. It's, it's the same way people get super tall and don't even play sports. I have never played. A that's sport. ridiculous. I think that's re guys that get over six feet and don't play sports. That is man, that is crazy to me. Let me hit six baby. foot. Man, had I had I have gotten to six foot, I would not be sitting here. My youngest is four. He's thirteen and he just grew over six. Well, he's about six. He's six foot now. And he refuses to play any sports. I've tried to put him in anything. He's just like, nah. See, that's gonna change by the time you get so to high when school. I, I hope it does. I hope it does. Because but then he's behind the ball time. though, because he's going against kids that have been playing since they was five. But I think he's naturally or athletic. Training because the first five. year that I put them in track and they had never done anything before, which is like a couple of years ago, they um actually um won some accolades. He was like third in, in the state of Missouri, um, with with his discus and um in his, you know, little class or whatever, his age group, and got to go to Texas for the Junior Olympics. So and that was like their first season ever doing track. So I think they're just naturally athletic. Um, so I hope it does change because he didn't broke too many ceiling fans and couches around my house, and I need him to get some money and, and yeah. to play. I mean, Tim, Tim Duncan also didn't play until yeah, he didn't play until late either. Until later. I mean, so I, it's possible. So but that's another part of the bring but, it out. But that's another part of the genetic lottery. The actual talent too, not just getting yeah. the height and stuff on yeah. you. The actual talent mm -hmm. of it all. But sometimes the genetic lottery just ain't about height though, as far as like being six feet or whatever the case may be. 
like I even think in the profession of being a comedian, Hell I think yeah, I think I won. The, I huh. think I won the genetic lottery in that because you absolutely your did. better comics are small, small framed. I mean, or they or they're really bigger. Well, they're, I wouldn't take it to that far. I would say to the point of t if you take out the physicality of it and you bring in more of the intellectual of it, you only been doing this for a very short amount of time and you are as good as people who have been doing this for a year for decades yes yeah you know what i'm saying so like i feel like you won in that lottery that where you tapped into it like you could have been doing this yeah you could have been doing this and we could have been at a different level at this point if you had started in your 30s Shh, like boy. your early 30s or your late you're in your 20s you see what i'm saying oh yeah so for yeah. you that had just tapped Man. into comedy and it's just naturally Bam I mean, for you. Yeah. I think that is um that's a, a lottery win. Yeah. I mean, I, I believe you on that because yeah, just talking to other people that do it, I'd be like, oh, we think different. Because like, when I, I met think... you, I didn't I wouldn't have never assumed that you had only been doing this for I months. When... I've been doing this for five months. Man. What? Like what? I would have never. I would have never. Yeah, I done met some people that's been doing it for years and they just can't believe it. Like so I guess I guess that is a lottery win. Yes. My very first time doing it, go. it was two guys that have been doing it for twenty years, and they didn't believe it. So yeah. it is what it is. So, I guess so, I'm blessed in that. Yeah. Uh, now I, I want to go back to the BBL discussion real quick. Yeah. Um, because we've noticed some people big bad ladies getting them reversed. Yeah. They're getting their their, their surgeries reversed. So um, now it didn't come out that they were getting it reversed for any like medical reasons or whatever, mm -hmm. but it was celebrities, you know, in in because they the can news, afford to. They are getting it reversed. I kind of felt like maybe because now they're a little bit more accessible to the masses, the trend is kind of watered down. You see what I'm saying? Like so, the trend is is hitting its uh, its peak of coming down. Like it was at it was at a climb. Yeah, it was up there, and right. I feel like it's coming down. And as a celebrity, you move on to the next before the rest. Right, so, right. I got you. I you have to like, be ahead of the trend. Yeah, and I think now maybe more of a natural looking shape. That bumblebee butt ass thighs don't match your booty. That is over. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I I don't know. I even kind of took this far as like to get into some of these um, designer clothes. That you know, it's not even really you can't made. wear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah because they never altered. Like they never changed the way that they made clothes. Yeah, to, right. I mean, to, to accommodate fashion, that. That's uh, Fashion Nova. Yeah, Fashion Nova did. But they, everybody else was like, nah, this is kind of how we going to make our clothes. Right, yeah. out, right. With a size 6 waist and a size 22 ass. But how smart is that for Fashion Nova to fill that gap? Very smart. That was very smart. Very you smart. Know? That, was, that was very smart because they made a lot of money filling that gap. Yeah. So Given the, the look of the high fashion stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm with it. I'm I think that. people got BBLs to wear Fashion, fashion Nova, Nova clothes. Yeah. You know, like I could even, you could even I know say. I know ain't nobody paying no 20. I, well, maybe, maybe to try to be an influencer because that is the thing. To try to be a influencer and a brand ambassador, like those are legit jobs or professions. I didn't that know that are, Black uh, China was Nicki Minaj's body double in videos and in, st in certain things. Where you read that at? I heard it on the radio not too long ago, and now she's getting her. Nicki did start reversing some of hers, and now she's doing the same. Oh wow! Okay, oh Nika. You so it up on us. I, I I even noticed there's um, someone locally who has reversed theirs, and yeah, I think like you said, it's the trend. Like if you think about like in the '90s, late '90s, um, it was like remember the white women running around with big boobs and stuff, and big boobs was the was the thing. Yeah, and um, and even our definition of what thick is. Mm -hmm. Has changed since then. Like our our thought and, and idea of what Boy. thick looked like has changed a lot and has shifted a lot since then. Just look and at so, the type of chicks that were in the music videos. Yeah, how have they changed? Yeah, yeah, I feel exactly. like Nelly actually brought thick popular. Mm. Name think, name the video. I was, I was, think I was thinking like, Fifty Cent when he brought Buffy the Body on for that Tony Yayo video. Yeah. Okay. I, that that was the first time I saw something, and I was like, "What is this? I'm looking at." This is like, different. Yeah, like this ain't this ain't them. Like, what is, <laughs> what is this? What I want 
that. I, I, I want. You want that? I want to. I want to. Want I want to jump on that. What is that? Oh, what is that? Okay. How big is that in person? Is and been, I actually saw her in person. Oh really? Yeah, she came to the Galleria one time. Was she like she really was, short? And that's her body. Her. That that's her body. Like, oh yeah, yeah that's she the, didn't yeah. have modification. Well, I don't. know. I don't think she, she did at the time. No. Yeah. She actually has like a exercise, like healthy living. Yeah, uh, YouTube channel. Now. I think she came around and spent it, but when I saw her in yeah. person, I was like, "Buffy the yeah, Body, come on the show." I was like, "That's a lot." No, don't come on the show. What? No. <laughs> you had to put Javon in a cage hey, the whole time. Don't bring, don't bring her on the show. Lord. I didn't say that feeling went nowhere. <laughs> but uh, was she short? She's kind of short. She yeah, most of them be short. Yeah. It's an illusion, right? You always think they are like man. You than... think they super big in person, man. But when you see them, they like her. Yeah, they like super short. Yeah. So you know, little people naturally have that shape, bubble butt. We don't, we don't know that until. So is she a little person? Nah, she ain't a little person. No, 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 no. She's an average height person. She's not a little person. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh. -uh. Okay. Nah. So, but yeah, I think I think they're reversing it now because yeah, the trend has shifted, mm -hmm. and like you said, I think a more natural uh, body style is going to come in. I think, like, but don't they normally do trends that the people can keep up with? Don't you have to do a trend that the mm -hmm. public can keep up with? Now with them celebrities, you want stuff that want to get off of it though. Yeah, um, once everybody, once the regular people start getting the same stuff and clothes and you. shoes that you, because everybody do start, everybody do look alike. Like, yeah, you can get them like I. Uh, I mean, the way they do their makeup. Yeah. The, the dresses they wear, the way they look, like everybody, everybody looks, looks a, like even the nail polish. Like damn, yeah. everybody getting white. Yeah. Like white toes, <laughs> bro. I remember white like, toes, pink uh, Victoria's Secret leggings, UGG boots. Yeah, I'm just like man. And what a are break up. So is it safe to say that? And them long giant lashes. So where the creativity at? There isn't any. Man, I remember when women used to look different. Like, they used to. There used to be differences about the creativity is in just being yourself, mm -hmm. being you. Well, maybe that's the problem. Folks can't. But be a lot themselves. of people can't be them. They they want to be who they want to be think, on 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 the Insta. I, I think it's it's just like fashion, how it has these cycles and things come back into trend. So I think we're about to hit kind of like the seventies body style again. So like, Who wants what's her, that? Like, what's her name? Winona from uh, man, from I Good mean, Times. Man, that's what that's what's gonna that's they gonna they gonna go back more. to not shaving. No, I'm shaving. I mean, they might. I, nah, bro, keep the waxing thing going. Especially with our age too. Keep like, waxing. Like people, people starting to embrace mom bodies and stuff. Who embracing mom bodies? Who, the moms. <laughs> the the guys too. The moms. Yeah, no, the. The mom. Okay. Who's embracing mom bodies? Who's embracing mom it's bodies? Hey, who's, who's embracing mom it's people bodies? with mom bodies out here ain't having no problems. I mean, that's women, period, though. I think it comes women from ain't a never gonna level. Have if you don't have a problem with you, then the next problem, the next person could but not. But a woman These of dudes. anybody type ain't gonna have no problem getting knocked down, y'all. Y'all make it sound like women really... It ain't no woman out here that do not have a problem getting knocked down if they want to be knocked down. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Stop so, selling that nerve. I have no argument there. If they want to be knocked down. If a woman wants to be knocked down every hour on the hour within a day, well, she could be. But what I'm talking it's about... It's for you to say that because you're a man. I'm talking about... Um, <laughs> because you... <laughs> what? That's not necessarily... How's it easy? What? Go ahead. Because like when you... Like you just said, genetic can play a part into the lottery of things. Mm -hmm. So you talking about a person who may be just not genetically attractive. They may want to get knocked down, but ain't nobody checking for them. Stop playing. If she posts the That's right BS. thing. That's BS. If she posts the right BS. thing, if she posts, if she posts the right thing on social media, she get knocked down, and she ain't got to post. And the body. right thing is high. That's it. All she got to do is post a silhouette I'm bored today. or an angle. I'm bored today. I'm I'm in the mood she, for something. She don't even gotta post a picture. She That's, can just be like, "I'm bored today. What's going on?" Yeah. Her inbox is gonna light the hell up. Yep. Ugh. I don't know why y'all think. Basically, you just saying y'all niggas is thirsty. I ain't saying me. I'm saying it's it just, just what it is. And it be the same. I ain't gonna make it sound like it's fresh dudes from woman to woman to woman. Nah, it may be the same. It may be the same field of dudes, but it definitely ain't hard for no woman to get back 
to to get that thing off. You know, y'all just don't be wanting whatever. Like whatever dude on, he just y'all just ain't feeling him. And that's just ain't. and we talking about just getting knocked down. I'm not saying that they getting they want high value relationships. Uh, now I'm okay, saying now that, now that's so a that's different. different. <laughs> that's different. Hold we on. Said, now. <laughs> now we talking something different. We would. We would. That's different. Nah, you can get knocked down, but that relationship thing that's different. That that's Say different. Now that. a lot of women are having problems. And I mean beautiful women, women with their bodies done and and all that other thing, because mm -hmm. you can't BBL a personality. That is the true. You know that so. is very. And much then true. I mean, uh, this might about to be a conversation for another day. But then like the high value guys, they don't want nobody to look like that. Like they don't want nobody who got the BBLs. That's just like the fun girl. Yeah. Now the you know one thing I would, could never do. Real? I, I can't speak yeah. on something that I'm not. So I don't speak on high value like men. I don't make six figures. Whatever they little checklist. I don't think that's not what it means though. What, that, that ain't I what mean, it. whatever the checklist is of the high value man, I don't think I check enough boxes to say that I'm necessarily a high oh, value. Oh, don't sell yourself man. short. I'm a man of value, but yeah. I'm not necessarily a high value. Yo, everybody's gonna be lighting up after you tell them jokes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you buy West Molin? No, I don't have it like that. Come I just me. can't throw a picture out and then they 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 in there like that. Nah. Yeah, I just seen your picture. I ain't got you it like looking, that. looking off to the side, letting the light hit your jawline. I know I'm sexy. Oh, no, don't get up. <laughs> no, 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 no. That ain't what this but, conversation is. This conversation even... is. Oh no, I'm sexy. I'm, I'm sexy. That is not what this conversation is about. <laughs> okay, fine. So I challenge I challenge that even the average guy is wanting somebody like that for a relationship. For for a real deal, Ooh. long lasting, having a starting a family relationship, would you want somebody who's been twerking with a BBL, and that's all they do on Instagram? That's would you want somebody like that uh, for a long? I don't even like minds to really have a social media presence. That's like, what I'm saying. If, if we gonna be like honest. being out there. Like that's what that. I'm saying. Like the yeah. fact that they even know you on social media would be, I yeah. would be against. I would probably be against that, but. You know. I'm on social media. Nah, you're not. No, no, no. You're no. not. No, yeah. I mean, on social media, like, I just see what it do. And I think because I moved into this new space, my way of protecting her would be gotcha. I would want you off of it or out of the way of it because people are cruel. And this is only going to get not if, okay. If you're already on there when we, you know, meet or, you know, like currently, I think my, thing, my wife got a bigger following than I do right now. Mm -hmm. So that was something that she, she definitely built. does. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was something that was built <laughs> while thousands. we were, yeah, thousands more, like probably double what I got. Uh, but I'm coming though. I'm coming. I, I would say 10 oh. times more than. I wouldn't definitely yeah, say that. Yeah. It's double. But what I'm saying is her presence is there. She's in that lane. So I can't come ask her, hey, can you just disappear off social media? But in the event of that something happening and I'm back out here and I get to re-choose, I would want somebody that's not necessarily in the light like I that. did read an article, this was a couple of years ago, where T.I. had asked Tiny to stop posting pictures of herself in her panties and stuff. Yeah, I definitely don't understand why you as a married woman are posting pictures a certain way. Um, even if, I mean, maybe if she, she selling? maybe she was a panties? model or something nah, or no, was she, she was just her regular everyday post. It wasn't, she didn't, like, she didn't have like a, a lingerie line or nothing. Mm -hmm. Why the hell is she doing that? Cause she needs, she needs need some attention. Anything, yeah. You think cause she married, she don't want attention. They yeah. still want the attention of the world. Just because cause they she's hanging around Lil Wayne, baby mama. Don't yeah. Say, is, is she? Yeah. So, Tiny told you that whole. Oh, yeah, them. But yeah, they, she was posting it and he asked her to yeah. stop. Because you think she could have just sent that picture to his phone? That's true. But if she posted, she'd say, I wasn't trying to get She'd say, I wasn't trying to get attention. She'd say, she'd say something like, I posted this for myself. I think she had just got her little booty done. Mm -hmm. I know, but, but she'd say something like, I posted this picture you know, for me. I didn't post, it. I didn't post this picture for y'all. I posted it for me. And my pushback to that, why is the comments on? You know, for uh, every woman that says I posted this picture for me, not y'all, why is the comments on? I've never. Why is it even posted? That's why, I'm like, why is it even so posted? if you're posting, you're posting for the world. If you just posting for you, you keep the pictures in your phone. I have a thousand pictures in my phone that do not see the light of social media day. You only posted it for yourself when a comment is said that you don't agree with. That's what I have noticed about social that media. That statement is that. So you know what? I'm gonna give you this, 
if a woman ever says it, don't ever believe it. I know. If you are posting, <laughs> I don't. I just keep you scrolling. are posting for the you world. You posting for the world. You are posting for the world. Period. Yeah, you posting for attention. Now, now hold on. Let's go back to something real quick. Just for me. Is it just me? But I kind of don't see it for Toya. What you talking or about? Or for Tiny, I mean. See what? what? See it? It for Tiny. What like I can't it? see the vibe. I seen her in person what when he was here about? doing. Uh, tiny. Like how she look? Yeah, she not. I just recently saw a video of her where her legs, it, her shorts were too big for her. And if she had a little gap, it looked like uh, a little yeah, diaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I sent it to you. Yeah. Her legs were real skinny. Are we talking about, so we talking about this, this tiny? Or are we talking about the tiny that we know? Any version. Because I remember her being, well, she's in Escape, right? I've been saying yeah. tiny from so, Escape. So, no, because I feel like that was the first time I saw a light-skinned person, a light-skinned girl who I didn't like. Mm. I, I looked at that group and tiny, I was like, I was like, these other me. girls look better than the light skinned one. She was, she was supposed to be the. She did it for me in Escape, and Escape Tiny did it for me. Maybe not, like crazily did it for me, but I thought she was. A, I was trying to see lady. it, I just couldn't. Yeah, I thought she was attractive really in uh, Escape, and, and then she started, you know, started going down the trend. I guess she started getting on board with the trend of what everybody else was doing. Yeah, she got her eyes colored. And no disrespect to you. You know, I'm still trying to figure out how you do that. Oh, you go over to Africa and do that. No, no, no disrespect to Ti Tiny. Come on the show. Um, but yeah, I, 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 what? What? Nothing. Oh, yeah, they watching. What? Yeah, I mean, she. I mean, I'm sure they watching. I started thinking about like, cause you know they had a little scandal. I'm like, I don't want nobody getting me. Getting you, ma'am. You grown. You can say no. <laughs> Nah, they, they do it where you can't say no. Nah. What you mean? Man, we not finna accuse them of that <laughs> on this. We not finna nothing. say that, ma'am. All those people were of consent. Yeah. To our knowledge. To our knowledge, they were of consent. You're right. That's what we gonna say. You're right, Mr. Westmore. We gonna say to our knowledge, they was of consent. Oh, uh, but no, nah, I mean, for everybody reversing it, man, hey, more power to you. Like, Yeah, dude. you didn't need it anyway. I'm here to tell nah, you. No, nah, no, some of y'all definitely, some of y'all definitely, no, no, like no, no, some of y'all definitely needed Love it. Love yourself. And y'all should keep it. Work with what you got. Well, so, mm. hey. That's, that's. Gigi, that's easy to say because if it was the other way around, right? Because if it was a surgery out here that can enhance men, that could take us from three to seven to whatever, whatever. Allegedly, al allegedly yeah. there is. Yeah, but so. I'd be scared if I was y'all, because they hit the wrong nerve. They dig might not work. But it's the same thing with y'all, though. They, they hit the nerve y'all gone. Oh, they have, people have died. But do you think a man, if you, I mean, for a man, men can talk as much as they want. If we can go lay on a table and I can get it, to the lymph that I want. You think men wouldn't be taking that risk? We but take risk taking the, the the pills that we take. Say, if you have a heart condition, do not take these pills. You know what I mean, men? Niggas is like, fuck it. They gonna do it. <laughs> they, they, and then that's, they don't care. So, so you think you know we wouldn't go lay on a table? So then I can see the sediments in like, when y'all say like, everybody don't really like the BBLs or you know, that may not be everybody's cup of tea. It's nice to look at. Because even when it comes to like penis sizes like that, everybody don't want no gigantic cable remote. I heard women say that banging your body out. Yeah, like women, you know women what I'm say saying? that. Like everybody don't like huge. Some people may. Want but I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care. I would go lay on that table. No, <laughs> I would go lay on that table. I don't care what y'all want. I'm yeah. going. <laughs> it ain't. A, I'm not doing yeah. this. I'm not doing this nah, for y'all. Nah, this is the size right here. This. this I'm, I'm not doing this. Either, yeah, that's, that's what I was gonna right. say too. This is a good size. Um. What? <laughs> Bro, don't hand me that remote. <laughs> <laughs> don't hand me that remote, dog. After you so, just sit here, there, don't hand me that remote, man. I'm not for the final. So that. If I'm not for the final that remote. <laughs> I'm not for the final that remote. Don't hand me that remote. If you, you, you know, officially perverted the nah, dog. <laughs> you know, officially perverted hey, the remote, like, dog. This is a um, yeah. This is okay. But I would but go, anything bigger than this. Don't. But we will go lay on the table for that. Like, I guess. For I guess some people need this. Exactly. Like They want this. And so they will go take that. Now you got a bunch of men out here self-conscious because you done waved this remote on camera. And now they like, oh. This the natural size. Ma'am, first of all, you. <laughs> so for Gigi. So, so you think, you think a majority of, you think a majority of men coming out here at this remote size? 
No. No, I oh I know they're not. Oh, okay. I've been saying because as a woman, you should know better than I should I, know. I know, yeah. I've okay. been out here dating. No, okay. I, I just not. want you to know that I, they're absolutely not. I, cool. I watch amateur porn, so I know that's not true. So if we could jump on if we could jump on the table, men would. Men mm -hmm. would. I, I can't even say that mm -hmm. you know what's crazy? For all the confidence in the world that I think that I exude and have, mm -hmm. I think if it was available to me, I probably would. No, you wouldn't. I would. I would. I, no. We had to have a conversation. I want that mother to my ankle. Not that I'm, I'm <laughs> I I want it. No. Nah, I want it to my ankle. Mm -mm. Like, I don't care. I want it to, I want you scared. Now your pants print all. I don't it's care. Big. I want you scared. You out here looking weird. I, 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 I would I, not take I, no pictures with you. That, I, I want people on some. Oh my God, what are you going to do with that? I want to hear that. I want to hear that. I want to hear what you're going to do with that. You know, it was a guy. He, um. Hey, what you going to do with that? His stuff, his junk is naturally that big. Like, he. It go all down his pants. He from Africa. No, nah, it was a white dude. He was born like this. Oh, he um yeah. he tried to do uh he can't even get no jobs because <laughs> <laughs> wait because when he in interviews they up? thinking yeah. he yeah they thinking he he out here trying to be sticking and playing games with him. He said he it's so hard for him to get work. Why yeah, he wears baggy jeans? He need to wear some jabos or something. Why don't he just go get a reduction? That costs money. Then just start no, taking pictures of it. Ain't no dude gonna do that. Like, we'll yeah, I ain't never finna go get no reduction, bro. Yeah. I ain't. Yeah, I just deal with the problem that. before I go get it reduced. I wish I would go get it. He can't even find work. Nah, he ain't looking hard. He ain't trying he ain't to get in the right California. industry. He ain't in the yeah. right yeah, industry. Yeah, he ain't in the right industry. He's yeah. blocking his blessing. He won't step into the gift that God. Your gift will make room nah, for you. He was trying to work in <laughs> IT. IT. <laughs> IT. Boy, if you don't stop playing. You should be trying to work for browsers. That's it. Something Sir, like that. you should be yeah. throwing that mug across a keyboard should somewhere. Be on that's OF. What you should be working in OF, not IT. Right, IT. Boy, that boy is stupid. Yeah, so, I don't know how we got into this. I don't either. We were talking about these fake bodies. We were talking about fake bodies. We, this way, this way kind of left. Well, now we're we talking just, about remotes. We just get down the rabbit hole. It just be a rabbit hole. Oh, I was saying that if men had the opportunity, because as for as judgmental as men are about women that get BBLs, men would run out and do the same, same thing. Yeah. Are you judgmental? About women and BBLs? Yeah. I'm all for it. Like I tell people all the time, I don't judge women to go get their body done because I eat McDonald's and I know McDonald's hamburgers are fake. I that, that's, like that's, that that's that's deep, man. I know McDonald's hamburgers. That was are deep, and I still eat them. So why would I, why would I judge a woman for going to get her body done? I mean, I'm not judging anybody either. You do what you want to do with yourself. Fake, fake buns is fake buns. To help you feel better about you, to wake up every day, to be productive, to you know live life to your fullest. You do exactly what you need to do. I just know, like for me, there's certain risks, and and then like I said, like I. I'm okay with how I look. Like it's never been an issue that far. If I do have a problem, I go to the gym with it. You know, like just because, you know, it's more benefits. I feel like for me to, I'll get more out of going to the gym, like threefold. Like my health will be better. I'm gonna sleep better, and my body will look better. So you know, and then that's something that I can control. I do feel like with them BBL, some of that stuff is out of your control. You don't really know if you're doing it the lesser way, what they're putting in you, yeah. um, how it will affect you long term. You gotta wear that. You gotta wear that so, shaper forever. You gotta yeah, wear that. Yeah, that, that, so, that so, so, so the quote of the day is from Javon. If I can eat fake hamburgers, I can eat fake butt. Is that? Hey, I stamp it. Yep. I stamp it. All right. I put that on there. If you can eat fake, fake buns, buns, you can eat fake buns. <laughs> if you can eat fake buns, you can eat fake buns. All That's right. all I'm so, saying. So, does anybody got anything Cheers. else they want to bring to the show? All right. So, to all the millions of people who are watching us, we thank you. We thank you for joining us in our conversation. Please comment, follow Noel Avenue Entertainment. Follow uh, us on Instagram and social media. Spell the no Avenue. Spell? Yeah, because a lot of people don't. K N O L L A V E E N T. Yep. And that should get you there for, yep. for pretty much everything we do. Follow us on Cash App. Mm -hmm. We take donations. We got, uh, what, all, what all we got coming up? We got um, interviews with uh, Love at First Laugh. Hosted by Gigi Lewis. Um, where are you going to be? You got some engagements coming up, Vaughn? 
Yeah, I, I got a bunch of shows. I can't think of them off the top of my head though. But I'm booked. So I got a bunch of shows. You got uh, you got you got the thing with uh, Octod, right? Yeah, I got I got Anthony uh, Miller. Or uh, excuse me, I got a April Fool show April first. I got the April fifteenth show with Ant. I got it's April fifteenth with with all the I, guys on there. I think it's April fifteenth. Damn, April. I thought that was like this week. Okay. Nah, nope, it's April fifteenth. Okay. I got that. Oh. I got some stuff coming up in May. I travel out to I think Atlanta or San Diego. Well, wait a minute, man. Well, wait, we we coming back next week. You ain't gotta go all the yeah. way to May with it. Oh well, yeah, all I got is all I got. Well, I ain't got nothing coming up then. If we come back next week, all right. Between now and then, I ain't got nothing coming up. <laughs> the oh KJ's open mic. Yep. Oh yeah. Wednesdays, my bad. KJ's on Broadway's open mic. Nah, cause that list is full to April too. Yeah, we ain't got nothing coming wow. up. Yeah, I'm, man, we, we can shout out. We can shout out our open mic too, right? Oh yeah, that's coming up on April. 17th. April seventeenth. Yeah, where we at? At the MX Theater. Yeah. Come holler yes, at us. Yes. Off the yes, wall. Louis, what is it? Downtown, Off the wall comedy. Off the wall comedy. It's gonna be every Monday. Every Monday, starting April seventeenth. Yeah, come check out some of the best talent that we got in the city. Now that's gonna be a good time. That's gonna be a good time. Yeah, everywhere we go, it's a good time. Yeah, yeah we don't pull up nowhere and it ain't a good time. Good All time. Right. So, you know what you've been watching? This is and listening to, because we will put an audio version out. At some yes. Point. Um, this has been the sixty-eight eighteen podcast. Say that again. Nope. <laughs> and this last part is going to be just audio this has been a 68 po um, 18 podcast yeah. and peace let me come up with a better outro than that I'll come up with it later we'll come up with one All right. we'll come up. later